All right, everyone, welcome back into the series. Hope everyone's doing well today. We are kicking off, I think, what is day 33 here in the uh, Interloper run. And uh, I really, what I'd like to get done, I think, in this episode is I'd like to get another bear. Um, I've been talking about it a little bit. I, I don't have a bedroll still to this point. Um, we haven't really overall been to too many locations, so like I'm sure I'll still come across one at some point, but you know I don't really know when that's going to be. I have one black bear uh, hide cured at this point, and of course I need a second one to make a bed roll. And so I think what I'd like to do in this one is, is really try to track down a second bear, um, get him down, get his pelt, um, and uh, you know get that curing so we're able to uh, move on from here. Um, before too long. Obviously, we still have the last couple episodes have like really been dedicated to uh, to food, um, and we've got plenty of that now. Um, so we don't really have to worry about food. So we can pretty much hunt to our heart's desire right now. Let's also check. Oh, we have one more hour of our broken ribs. That actually, that's probably worth passing a little bit of time and then sleeping for. Um, I think just so we get our mobility and everything back. Let's see, hopefully this takes care of it. Let's see. Did that not count as a full hour? Alright, we'll, we'll do it again. Just getting tired enough passing time, so I'm tired enough to, to sleep. This ought to, ought to do the trick here. If it doesn't, I'm going to scratch my head a little bit. Saving, it still didn't go away. Do I have to put the, the treatment? Um, that's one thing I've never really understood. Like, could I just wait it out, or do I also have to do the painkillers and the bandages? I thought I'd be dying from starvation. Um, I mean, I guess we can do it and see. I hate wasting my bandages, though. As you guys know, I often need them. So I need two of those. <gasps> And do I have painkillers? Surely I do. Yeah, plenty of painkillers. Let's do one more. Yep. Okay, so you do have to use... Um, I don't really like that. I don't know like if I've just never realized that before or like, what the deal is there, but um, you do have to also do the treatment alongside the just the rest time. Um, okay, so we got our uh, ribs back now. Um, we may not have had to have uh, like passed all that time and slept. Um, I just didn't realize that um, you know we had to also do the other part of that too. So um, okay, I am just basically gonna clear up a little inventory space here. So if we do wander out and get a bear, um, I've got you know carry space to bring some of it back. And I'm just like I'm not planning to like go far or, or stay you know, somewhere else for like any period of time. So like the lantern we don't need, we have plenty of water on our person right now. So we don't really need to carry the pot around. I can dump my sticks. Those might be handy to carry. Um, I collected all of those before I went to bed last night cause we had some warm weather. So I just went back on the hill and kind of grabbed those. I uh, figured that would be a good use of some of that time. Um, okay, I think we're good. We have five arrows. I think two or three of them are getting pretty low condition, but that's okay if we, you know, stick them in the bear. Uh, we got one that's 7% and two that are in the 40s, so we do also need to fix this guy up eventually, our hacksaw. Um, I think we're good, though. Let's maybe go down and we might eat some of our moose this morning. I don't know. I can't. I can't decide. Um, I think first, let's go check the uh, pond real quick. Let's do that. Um, and see if there's just one, because this would be the ideal bear to kill. Ooh, there's a wolf right there. I don't know that I've ever seen a wolf over there. Um, yeah, you guys have told me and told me and told me in the comments and things that this bear that I killed that spawns basically on the backside of that rock formation there over by the like fallen tree and there's rabbits is a completely different bear than what's over here at the pond. But I've just not seen this one at the pond. And and it's not that I don't believe you guys, because um, I, I do. But just like, man, where is he? He hasn't been over there at all. 
All right, and I'm just trying to steer clear of the wolf over there right now. Um, it honestly might just be best if we took him out, especially if we're going to be hauling potentially uh, bear meat back. I don't necessarily, like, we don't need the bear meat. Um, I am fully doing this for the pelt, but, you know, if you have that much meat, it's almost like a shame to not do anything with it, you know? Um, I guess I could bait him back towards the cabin as well. That has worked pretty well in the past for us. I just used my same uh, little moose, ugh, moose ledge that I did um, to take down the moose. Just kind of lure him back over there and then climb up there and then start putting shots on him. See if I can't get a money shot and take him down right away. That would be a perfect scenario. Just like one shot him right in front of the cabin. we successfully steered clear of that wolf. That was a weird spot. I don't know that I've ever seen a wolf like uh, just right outside trappers like that. I mean, he wasn't like near the door or anything, but he was he was definitely close. And I guess the question is like, if I don't see him here at the pond, how far do I try to track him past the pond too? Because that, that could be the other thing that's happening is that like He's just not, he just hasn't happened to have been here at the pond when we have. Like, he could be for, further um, off that direction. Alright, and I don't see him again. So let's do that. Let's walk to the other side of the pond uh, and see. See what we can see. I hear them. I mean, he could be up there. That's part of the problem, as I don't really know, like, what his range is. I do know that sometimes I see one over there in, like, clear cut. I don't know if that's the same bear as what's over here. Like, maybe his range starts here at the pond and then goes all the way towards, like, clear cut. That, that's a possibility as well. Um, that being the case, we need to, like, keep our eyes open going over the hill, right? Because he could theoretically be, like, right over here somewhere. I don't see anything too promising right off the bat. Um, I do see these trees that are, I guess, you know what? That, no, that makes sense. I was going to say, these trees that are scuffed up like that generally indicate that there's a, a moose spawn in the area. Um, but I guess it could still be the moose that spawns over by... Trapper's Cabin. Um, or it's that moose right there. Boy, guys. <laughs> do we do this thing again? Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go inside here to this little cabin and uh, warm up for a little bit, but I don't... I've never seen this moose before, guys. I, I, I've never seen it before. Uh, I've never seen that one spawn in. <laughs> do, do, we, do we shoot another moose? <laughs> I don't know. Have I not been in here? No, I haven't looted this yet. Okay, I thought we came in here one time, but um, maybe I'm thinking of... Uh, that is what I'm, I'm thinking of, the uh, Faithful Cartographer series. We came into here. Um, more cloth. I mean, that's good. We'll take that for sure. We we're starting to get pretty low. Two cloth, 11 minutes to break that down. I can't use my hands for that right now. Um, we don't have to do that right away. Let's lay down for a minute, warm up. Okay, perfect. Anything under, I don't see anything. All right, let's, ah, gosh. We don't need to kill the moose. I didn't need to kill the last moose. Um, it's just like, oh, there's some matches. Nice. I think that like almost doubles our matches count, right? Yeah. Um, I didn't need to kill the last one, but it's, it's just like that question of like, there it is, you know. It's a ton of food. He's there. Do we just do we take the opportunity to get the food? You know, uh, and obviously we started out this little trip looking for a bear. We found a moose. It's like, do we divert our plan? I don't know. 
The thing of it is, too, is like we'd need a safe spot if we were to try and shoot him, which um, I don't see him anymore. So he might have despawned, and that might have solved our... Answered that question for us, but that's good to know that there's one over here. I mean, that's that's two moose, like right, right next to each other, really. And I mean, we've only killed that other one within the last, I'd say, five or six days. So they were pretty close to each other. Um, but that's okay. We we don't need to kill another moose. It would be like great for us, but. I honestly don't even know if like we'd be able to eat all of the last moose before this one spoiled, so. Or vice versa, I guess. So it's okay. Super tempting, but not necessary. Plus, he's not here anymore, so. Um, a bear though. Back back to the topic at hand. We need a bear. This should be clear cut, I think. Any signs of bear down there? Not seeing anything. There's a deer. We'll go get get the uh, pelt off that deer at least. Oh, there's a bear. I can see him through the through the uh, trees. He's a long ways off, though. So, do we want to bait him back towards trappers like we've done in the past? We'll get the pelt off this deer so we can use it to make some boots or something. Oops, oops, oops. 32 minutes is the fastest. Let's go ahead and do it. Pretty good weather today, too. Where's our bear at now? Okay, there he is. I mean, we could at least bait him back towards that little cabin we were just in, and that would kind of give us a spot to um, warm up if like, we needed to, you know? Or are we trying to take them? Yeah, this has got to be a different bear because I see a cave back there. Okay, here we go. Let's go time. You know, I was playing this by myself, um, I don't know, a few days ago or something. And I was starting to like think about how risky this actually is. Because um, if he gets too close, like if you're not really paying attention, then like he's going to charge. Take that stick. Um, I just like, and I think getting mauled by that moose really made me think about it. It's like if if he gets at all too close to you, then you're like in trouble. And we've done this same thing a couple times now. I know we did it in season one, I think, right of interloper um, we lured him in black rock and it worked for us there because he died like right by our cabin um, and then of course I couldn't harvest him at all got that glitch um, and then I think we did it in season two at least once we're gonna have to take him a pretty long ways though I could take him back to Travers. I like the idea of taking him all the way to Travers because we have that nice little shelf I can crawl on and take some shots on him. All right, we need to go Get this way. My hands. Okay, we've lost sight of the massive bear. It's gotta be behind these logs. Hello? Hello, sir? Okay, there he is. Please come with me.
So if we get this bear back and we take him down, we're going to have to like ask ourselves that question of like, do we, you know, go through the process of like harvesting his meat and everything? I could just open fire here. I don't want to do that because we're kind of in the middle of nowhere right now. This is going to be a long walk, guys. Maybe once we get towards the little cabin, I'll try to scout out a spot where we can take some safe shots. Let's gather some wood while we're out here. What are these? Are these my footsteps? Yeah, I think they are from when we got here. Wait. Of course. I don't even think I was moving that time. Alright. Mm, there's the moose. This is going to be interesting. Will the moose flee from the bear? Surely it will. Um, but that just means we're going to have to take a long enough turn through here to uh, avoid getting trampled by the moose before the bear gets over here. I wonder if that, this log right here, that one, I wonder if we can get on that. I need to keep him interested too. This is kind of a dangerous scenario because I can't see where he's at. Is he running? He's running. I'm in trouble. Oh boy. I suppose I deserve that. I talked about how risky it was, and then that hill just made it even more risky because I couldn't see him anymore. And then I just got careless, I think. Uh, we'll be okay. We should survive just fine. All right. Blood loss, infection risk, that's okay. We've got at least one more bandage. We need to get clear of him, though, before he turns back around and gets us. Gotta stop that. I don't feel so good. What all did we drop? Oh, we gotta get our bow. Okay, I think that's everything there. Alright, let's get um, to that log at least. And let's actually just go ahead. gonna bleed out soon. Okay, blood loss has stopped at least. It's a start. Um. Well, that was not how we wanted that to go, <laughs> to, to say the least. Let's just go home, guys. <laughs> let's let's stop in this little cabin, warm up, and uh, just go home. Leave me alone, man. Can't you see I'm already going through it over here? I'll have to watch this back and see like what I did wrong there. If I just if I stood at the top of the hill too long and he closed that gap, um, or if he had some kind of shortcut or something, I don't know. There's a Polaroid. Alright. We are gonna have to go all the way home because I don't have any food on us. Just warming up here. Okay. Get some water. I can probably harvest uh, enough to make a old man's beard on the way home. All right, let's go. <laughs> you guys are probably just shaking your head at me like this fool. Damn, that's Playing with fire, you're gonna get burned. Watch, uh, this bear at the pond is going to be here now, and we're going to have to get by him. I almost guarantee it. I don't see him. Honestly, that was probably a really long ways to try and draw him. Anyway. I don't feel so good. 
Alright, we need to keep our eyes open for Old Man's Beard as well. I know that there's some right next to uh, Trapper's Cabin, but if I don't have to use that right away, then it'd be nice to not have to. I don't think we have a stem or anything yet, either. I don't think we found anything like that. I could look, but that would just be wasting a little bit of time. And that might have been a different outcome as well had uh, I not sprained my ankle, because I couldn't run from him. You know, if we could have run, we might have been able to dance around that tree a little bit. We might have been able to get to our log that I was going to, to crawl up on that. Could have been a completely different scenario. You know, I do have some cattails. Maybe I should have stayed back there and slept for the night. Too late now. We're already most of the way to Trappers. We might hit the Uno Zone here, but if we do, that's okay. We'll deal with it. We always do, right? Okay, there's a wolf over there. That would be the worst thing that could happen. Feels like that. So we're going to have to go inside and warm up a little bit, go get some food. Um, if we can just warm up and then come back out and uh, we'll, we'll probably just have to go ahead and harvest that old man's beard that's by the, by the cabin. Um, I don't really have the condition to go look for more. Yep, knew that was coming as well. It's going to be close on if we make it before we hit the Ono Zone or not. It's going to be real close. It hurts. You can see the front door. We probably will eat a cattail or two when we get inside just to stop ourselves. If we can stay out of the Ono Zone, then we'll do that. I think we're going to make it in time. Okay. Um, cattail or two. Let's do two. We'll top off on water. Okay. Okay, should be good. Let's run back out and get some food oh, and see if we can find some smart old man's beard. How close are we to infection? Pretty close. Close enough, I think we couldn't get through the night without doing this, so. Should be some right back here. The episode where I fed myself to a bear. That'll be the title, Feeding the Bears. Okay. Two. Three. Um, we should probably make it a priority, too, to find some more of that before too long. Right, let's go back inside and actually make the bandage, apply it, and then we'll go get our food. Probably ought to make some more bandages, too. Just don't have a ton of cloth left. Well, we'll have to take stock of everything in the morning. All right, let's see. Backpack. Infection risk. Okay, perfect. Now let's go get some dinner.
can't feel my feet. We might hit the Ono Zone yet. We're probably going to, but that's okay because we're right here. We just need to quickly grab like a piece of bear meat. Gosh, let me in. And then turn around. Make yeah. sure it's a big one. Yep. All right, let's go. Yep. There's the Ono Zone. I don't feel so good. <laughs> you don't say. You've been attacked by a bear, you're freezing cold, you're starving. I think this time, Mackenzie, this time, you get a pass. You are okay to not feel so good. Okay, here we go. Okay, um, let's get over to the bed first. Let's go ahead and eat. Drink. And then let's get some sleep, guys. We're not even tired, look at that. We're only like halfway. Ha like we did so much yesterday, like this day, like we traveled or covered quite a distance to not be tired at all. Uh, it's only like middle of the night. I wonder if I have any birch bark for birch bark tea. Just kind of boost our condition a little bit. And let's check, do I have a stem? So I don't, okay. Life. I didn't know that for sure or not. Okay, let's just, we're not gonna sleep that long, but try and get through this night at least. Um, okay, I'll probably go eat a little bit of extra moose meat just to keep our condition up a little bit. Oh, I do have some teas. Rishi, rosehip. Oh, I do have uh, some aqua pure for that too. I don't have any birch bark though. Do I have birch bark on me? I do, not a ton, but some. Hmm, I'm trying to decide what to do here. I don't, I would love to continue our hunt, but I really don't have the condition to do that. Maybe tomorrow, if we can make it through this day, we can go try that again. Let's, uh, let's go see what it's like outside though. Not great. Okay. But that's fine. But we're honestly probably going to spend most of the day in, indoors today just to recover. But let's go down here and grab, uh, uh, let's just like stuff our face real quick with some, some moose meat. Actually, we might do the deer meat instead, since it's probably a bit older. Wonder this thing's got to be getting pretty ragged. Eleven percent. Can I repair it? Oh shoot, the temperature. That took a long time. How long did that take to do that? Eat another one. Oh, that was a little one. It's okay. Let's eat some moose too. Have a little smorgasbord here of meat in the morning. Um, yeah, that took a long time to repair. So cold. Just 100 percent back again, again though. Yeah, it's not warm enough out here. All right, well, let's go inside. That's really all we can do at this point. The deer are still here. Oh, I do have that one deer pelt on me as well. We should put that down so I can start curing. Man, if I could score one of these guys though. There's some more uh, old man's beard up there. Okay, well, let's see. What can we do inside today? Oops. 71, 52. That needs some love. Let's go ahead and try and do that. I hope we get this off. Please don't fail. Okay, it's 87, 81, 68, 80, 60. Wow, those took a big hit. Um, okay, we'll have to probably address the mitts. We need to go find a rabbit. 
Um, I don't think I have any more rabbit pelt in here. We could probably stand to pick some of this up, except without the locker, I don't have any storage room in here. Our hat and our gloves are both pretty torn up. So we'll have to do something with that at some point today, probably. Or not today, because we'll have to wait for the rabbit pelts to cure. But if we could at least go get the rabbits, then we could get that started at least. All right. Flash is green for a second. Start spamming the button. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine right there. Um, okay, well, yeah, unfortunately, there's just not much we can do right now. It sounds like we had a full blizzard going on out there. Um, I mean, we have some wood. We could make some water or something. How much wood do we have? We can make maybe a couple pots of water here. Uh, I could make some birch bark tea. We have 15 sticks. That's really not much. Um, you guys have been telling me to break down all the wood in here. I could do that. Pass a little bit of time doing that. Um, I could break down that chair. I could break down this table. This shelf. I could. I don't know if I want to. Wish I could just get rid of this. Forty-five minutes, it's fine. We're pretty much committed to being in here anyway. For a while. Uh, I could break down the table. I, I mean, really, you could break down everything in here, right? We might as well break down this, because there's no guns in Interloper. Okay, so that should give us plenty. So let's go ahead and start a fire. 85%. Not bad. We'll make our recovery. Honestly, this blizzard is probably the best thing for us because it forces us to stay inside and not make any more crazy decisions. Alright. If I could get four hours, that would be two, two whole pots of water. Um, and so let's go ahead and Prepared birch bark. I wish we had some more, but it is what it is. We did finish this book, right? Yep. Break that down. 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Got plenty of time. Okay. Where are we at here? Six minutes. And can I break this shelf down? Yeah, I might break that shelf down. I'm just talking about like how long is this going to take. 20 minutes. Let's go for it. Got plenty of time again. Thirty minutes. All these guts are cured. Need another bear, guys. <laughs> uh, how much cloth do we have? We have three pieces of cloth. I'd love to go. I don't know. I can't remember, honest, honestly, guys, if I how much I uh, harvested back at. Uh, there's some cloth there. How much cloth I harvested? What am I trying to say? Um, when we like searched the buildings and stuff, if I got it all or not, I, I don't remember. Probably wouldn't be bad for me to check that out at some point. I don't know. Oh, here's some. Uh, I need to put that where I can see it. Because that would have helped us from having to run out and look for Old Man's Beard in the middle of the night, like we did. Alright, that water ought to be done. 18 minutes? I thought it said 6 minutes. Did it not? Alright, well, let's pass the time. Okay. Let's uh, make our tea. Guess we can make teas. Oh, I already had some prepared birch bark on me. Okay. I could eat anything right now. Let's start up another pot of water. 
Let's hit some of that birch bark tea. Get our condition buff from that. Let's uh let's just peek out here and see if one of those deer is close. Deer is close, gosh. Um I'd like to uh get another pelt going so we can potentially uh make some shoes, make some boots in the near future. This is this is honestly this is weird for me guys. Um I mean you've seen how I play interloper typically like I've been at trappers now for far longer than typically I stay anywhere. And it's just kind of a weird feeling. I'm just like halfway organizing here. No reason why, but this place is getting to be a little bit of a mess. All right, let's uh let's go see if one of them's close and maybe we'll try and just take a cheap shot on them. Uh, you know what, they're probably not here because of that blizzard. Yeah, I don't see anything. That's fine. That's fine. Um, hmm. Well, not much we can do then if there's no wildlife out. I'm sure this is no good. Yep, we just need it to despawn. Okay, well, that kind of kills that plan. I'm just heading inside. Habits. Yeah. Wishful thinking. Okay. Well. Anything else we can do? I guess we could maybe break down these shoes. Let's see how much time we have left on the water before we do that. 25 minutes. Um, I don't think we have enough time to break them down, right? I need to find food. Something I have left here. I I just realized I had two lanterns. 66 and 90. Some saplings. I guess I could use this for some storage. Might as well go ahead and break down this table. It'll give me some cloth. Two hours, though. I can't do it right now because I'll lose my water. But I'm just trying to find storage space in here. It's uh, OCD's getting me a little bit. It's too messy. Dusting sulfur. We'll just stick that over here. The bear pelt. Like I would pick that up and. Okay, we'll just put it in the safe. Makes sense, right? Moose pelt. Might have to drop some key it's getting there. Seventy-three percent. Put it over here. I've always kind of wished like you could almost like decorate with your pelts. Like I could have a big, cozy trap. Like I could just totally outfit this place and like pelts, like a floor mat and a big rug and everything like that. I mean, you kind of can, but it's not like an official. Let's get this water boiled, and uh, I don't know. We may start another, another pot. It, it wouldn't hurt us like to have that backup water. Um, I think we've got some wood left. Twenty-six minutes. Add fuel. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have plenty. Okay, let's do that, and then I'm gonna dump the rest of it right here. Oh, you know what we can do as well? Let's give me a set of tools. Uh, fix our hacksaw while I'm thinking about it. Actions. How long? 45 minutes. Okay, we have to wait. Water. We've got time on that. Alright, let's do that. Actions repair. 25%. 45 minutes. Let's do it. I'm glad that it's like a, it's not like mending where there's a chance of failure. Um, okay, that's back up to 60. I could repair it again. I do have an extra piece of scrap metal on me, but I don't really need to get it any higher right now. 
If we were getting ready to go to uh, Timberwolf, maybe I would, but 68% is plenty. It's getting late. Let's take a look. Not bad outside. Wish there was just a rabbit or something. Yeah, I know you would. Chances are, Mackenzie, you would probably eat anything just about any time. There's one right there. Oh, come on. Buddy, appreciate the sacrifice. Let's grab our rock. I guess let's go inside. Probably have to spend as much time tomorrow outside as possible. And that's fine, I guess. Um, maybe tomorrow we continue the bear hunt. Close as I can. Hoping maybe like I can harvest this rabbit and have time left enough to cook it. 27 minutes. That ought to be plenty. We'll have some rabbit. Okay. 46 minutes. That's plenty. 24 minutes. And this will be like 5, 7. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay. Quick action on that rabbit. Alright, let's finish finish harvesting him. We're just about ready for bed. All I can think about is food. Okay. Ooh, and that birch sapling too. Um, and then some water we need to put down. We're carrying yeah, four gallons, so let's drop like two and a half. That'll work. Um, and we probably actually probably need to run out and get some dinner too, so let's do that. Oh, it's an interesting color. God, that hurt my eyes. Such a I don't know why, but like when I opened that door, like my eyes struggled with this like pink hue that we got going on right now. Um, yeah, one rabbit is not quite enough food. Uh, I guess if we see another one, we really need the pelt. It's the, the biggest reason why I took him down is because we need the pelt to repair the hat and gloves, but I don't see another one. So uh, we could do that tomorrow as well. Um, here, I was coming for this. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Let's see if there's any more birch bark up here. Don't see any. Okay, let's go get something to eat. I'm gonna run too while we're out here, so I can try and get some more fatigue. Let's see, let's just check up here for more birch bark. It's a good chance that there's some over here with all these birch trees. Um, of course, I don't see any. That's okay. We're not desperate for it. Is that a wolf? Yep. Sure was. He picked me up from quite a ways away, too. At some point, we'll need to start working on a wolf coat as well. I think that that came in handy several times uh, in the last couple seasons, just from that you know, small chance that you'll scare off wolves. Um, you know, there's some times where that really came to use. I'm just gonna lead him over here to our little perch. Getting kind of thirsty. It's right here, right?
believe this was it. I hope this was it, because I got nowhere else to go from this guy. Just get him charging. I don't really want to shoot him. Just trying to get this over with. Oh, he got me. Wow. We are extraordinarily lucky there, guys. I cannot even, like, I, I was like, we're done. We're done. That was crazy. Um, all right, well, let's quickly get our food and GTFO. <laughs> wow, that that genuinely scared me. Um, what do we want to eat? Let's grab one of these guys. This is a small one, right? Yeah. So we'll mix that with... That's, that's a big piece. Those are both big pieces. We'll grab some moves too. Let's go inside. I am just like stunned. I'm stunned we survived, honestly. I can't believe he got us. <laughs> Look at the blood. That's kind of crazy looking. Oh, it disappeared right when we came over. Okay. Is that the same spot where we shot the moose? I feel like the moose didn't get us, but that wolf. He dealt with us. I'm glad we. I mean, we survived the first bear attack, but I'm glad we didn't leave the bear all the way right there and then. Have him do that to us. I can't believe we survived that. We were very, very lucky. I was like, well, there goes season three. Um, okay, let's pass a little bit of time. I need to drink some water. Unfortunately, that knocks our condition way back down again, so we might be stuck here a little bit longer. Alright, let's eat. Um, start with this, because that just healed. Just one of these pieces of moose should be enough. I can't believe we lived through that. This is at 36. Oh no, it's at 60. No, we didn't get any damage from it either. I mean, it took some of our condition, but we didn't get any blood loss or anything like that. Alright, let's go to bed. Count our blessings here. Wish I had some herbal tea. In fact, I may go ahead and drink the bir birch bark tea. Get some of that condition back. I'm so so stunned by that. Hopefully, I didn't squeal too much in my reaction. <laughs> I was pretty surprised by that whole thing happening. I was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna aim at him so he charges us, just so we can get this over faster, be done here," and then he uh, got us. Well, we'll have to rethink that whole strategy now, because that spot is clearly not safe. Never been so hungry in my life. All right, I don't need to organize this all right now, but I'd like to. Okay, um, let's see. I, I'm obviously still after a bear. I don't think we'll we'll travel too far to try and do that today, just until I get you know condition pretty much back up to the max. But if I can find another rabbit or two. Um, that would be good, and as well as a deer. I mean, if I can get another deer down so we can make the boots, then that'll be good as well. So let's go see what we can find. And like I said before, we're probably going to have to spend m most of the day out outdoors today. We don't have any cat fever risk yet, but it's got to be coming. Any deer? I don't see any. Those were just passing by. I guess we, we will have a wolf down somewhere too, right? We can get the pelt from him. Maybe start collecting those for a uh, coat. I'm just still surprised that that whole thing just happened, guys. Oh, I'm still carrying meat, too. I need to either eat it or drop it. Okay, I see a rabbit. Let's go get him. What a trip. I 
Where'd he go? Okay. I really thought we'd have a bear by now, guys. <laughs> this, this whole episode has gone a little bit sideways. Can't feel my hands. You'll be fine. You've been through much worse. Oh, he moved right at the last second. Mm, that was a pretty long one, anyway. All right, one more try with the. Let me see, I see you over there, sir. I see you. Um, one more try with the rock. If we don't get him with the rock, then I'll just get the bow out. He's gonna move any second. Yep. Oh. Rascally rabbits, man. Rascally rabbits. I just stick him. I don't really want to do that because I don't want to have to make arrows before we find another bear. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Thank you for your sacrifice. Uh, get out of here before that wolf comes after us. Let's head home. We might jump in our shelter, actually. See if we're warm enough in there for this. It's already down to 90. No, we're not warm enough. And. We can get some warmer clothes. I'm surprised that wolf didn't follow us. I was going to break these down too. I never did. Um, let's go ahead and harvest him. I don't even really want the meat. I just mostly want the hide. Let's do that. I'm going to need to eat soon. Maybe I'll just ditch the rest of the rabbit. It's terrible to do, but. I don't anticipate having another fire anytime soon. Okay. Let's go back out. Yeah, let's just drop them here. I don't know. We might do something with them later, but probably not. All right. Got another rabbit. That's good for our objectives. Um, do we want to head over towards camp office? I think we do. I mean, we could always go check and see if that bear is over there again, but I just, honestly, I don't want to be outside too, too long because of our condition, so. I might go ahead and eat a little bit just so we've got something in our belly. If we don't come back. You know, that might not make us to the end of the day, but. In the time it takes us to get another bear, this bear is probably going to respawn. Alright, we need to be careful over here. Although at this point, given the opportunity, I'd probably just shoot him. Oh, he's on to us. quit coming after us. Alright, let's... Hmm. Right by his head. That arrow's trashed, too. Let 
problem is, is he's not going to go very far. Okay, well, camp office. See what the situation's like over there. Maybe see if there's any more cloth. See if we see a bear. Um, here's some birch bark. Take that, please. It's gotta be like right on the other side of that hill. No sign of them though. Okay, um Where else can I find a bear, guys? Help me out here. There's the one on the lake, the the big lake. There's the one on the pond that we haven't come across. There's the one we've shot down. There's the one over by clear cuts. There's a, quite a few bear spawns here. Um, we just haven't managed to put it all together yet. I mean, we got mauled by the one. Uh, so we will probably not go back there. I'm down to four arrows. Just not great. Um, with four arrows, unless we get a solid kill shot, we're probably looking at um, letting him bleed out and finding him. Which I don't love that because you know he can really land wherever, wherever. Um, you know I like to kind of keep it controlled on where he falls, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess at this point. So. Man, we might just have to go for what we can manage. I'm I'm starting to feel like my hunting has like always been opportunistic, right? Like I'd, I've never really gone looking for a bear. Um, it's always like the bear has come to me, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, let's do this. And I stick them and. Could also uh, maybe go for that deer. We can decide on that later. Although if he gets any closer to the door over here, then I think it would really make sense to do. Alright, let's go inside and warm up. Let's just hop in the bed. Okay, guys, I tell you what, let's go ahead and call this an episode here, and then I'm pretty much just going to stop recording, jump into another one, and I'm going to pretty much just keep playing from here, but uh, we're over an hour now, so I think uh, that's probably a good spot to go ahead and break it, so... Um, I don't think I mentioned it at any point so far in this episode, but I appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, hope you are enjoying the series. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you are or you did, be sure to uh, just give it a quick like for me. Um, throw any comments or feedback you guys have into the comments section below. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, also would uh, just greatly appreciate you doing that for me as well. So that is it for me in this one, and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.